Hi, thanks for joining us on Inside Curtain. I'm Michelle. In this episode, we meet some of our very talented fashion design students as they work on a truly innovative project. Check out all the fun and excitement of Curtin's Open Day. Find out about ideas to bring more Indigenous culture to the university grounds and see world-leading student-designed fashion up on the catwalk. Often the journey from theory to practice can be a long one, but not for our fortunate fashion students who have not only been given an exciting and challenging brief to work their creativity on, but a groundbreaking new material too. Well, we were approached by Armacool with the opportunity for our students to utilise some fabrics that they'd sourced in America that have really unique properties in terms of cooling. Well, basically we came to class and we got handed this brief for Armacool to produce sportswear, sports luxe, um, streetwear using these Sun Smart fabrics. Our knowledge of design and fashion is obviously pretty limited, um, so to be able to be involved with Curtin University and their students has been a wonderful experience. It's not just a pretend project, it's a real project. So we're looking at these um, garments being a foundation for possible ideas for the company. I chose basketball as my sport I wanted to focus in on, so I've used lacing um, throughout the basketball shoe lacing, obviously, throughout the top and put it in different areas just to highlight the eyelets. And like this can be like a collar which is leather inside and then it goes all the way so you can put it on easily. Because I made such like an intricate design, I was like, oh, how are they going to get in it? So then I was like, I'll just chuck a zip there. That'll work. <laughs> The university has a real focus on what's called work integrated learning, which means that our students are always, we're always trying to find projects that will make that strong connection to the real world rather than just being a pretend environment. It gives us a um, kind of an insight into our future work. Um, so it's great because it's not easy. Definitely help with working with a portfolio and getting an internship later on after uni. It's a great thing to have on your CV, all that um, industry experience, especially with runway shows. We're actually looking at application and development of some of the ideas for an exhibition for Perth Fashion Festival. Yeah, it's going to be a, a, a good night. Uh, we're looking forward to it, um, to be able to firstly obviously display the work that the students have done in terms of their, their fashions and the creations that they've made, but also gives us the opportunity to launch our product. It'll be different to have your own designs on the runway instead of always being in the crowd looking at other designers' works coming down. It's, it's an amazing experience. Like I always look at catwalk images like every day on Instagram and when Fashion Weeks come out, I'm so excited to see it. It's like, there'll be like a chance of me seeing pictures of my own work on the catwalk. It's been a great opportunity working with Armacool. Um, the guys were great and giving us the fabrics, which is really good as well. I think it's an exciting experience. We'll show you the results of this work a little later in the show as the finished designs are paraded on the catwalk. Jamming all that Curtin has to offer students into just a few hours was always going to be challenging. But as our most recent open day proved, our faculties and campus were more than up to the task.
Despite the terrible weather, it was an amazing day and it sets the bar high for Curtin's next open day. Our Indigenous people, especially the local Noongars, have so much to teach us about their culture and stories. And to help share that knowledge, elder and all-round amazing storyteller Noel Nanup recently visited campus to discuss how more of this Indigenous culture can be part of Greater Curtin. The living stream is an important concept that we're looking to integrate into stage one of Greater Curtin and in fact all of Greater Curtin. It gives us a great opportunity to talk about, in a finer sense, part of a major songline, but concentrating on just one little piece of it. Well, it is our challenge now to create a memory and a connection for people in Curtin Uni. Um, to make meaning of this story. It has great historical and cultural relevance to the Indigenous people and there are many ways we're looking to potentially integrate it into our future developments and they can come from making sure that we protect the, the, where the water needs to flow and go and also undertaking Indigenous planting and of course signage to talk about the cultural relevance. We can then bring this type of um, information to people that are studying there to uh, realise that there's way, way more to what Aboriginal people are about. And it's not necessarily just um, the story, song, dance and art. It's a deeper, deeper thing and it's spiritual. And then when op opportunities like this come along where we can articulate it as Aboriginal people, and what it means to us and, and where it is, despite all this you know, new world, um, we're still hanging on to that old way. And we still know it, we still understand it. And like that old way, um, it's all about sharing. Other opportunities include integrating artwork into some of the developments and also into the built form itself. It's quite unique in that Curtin accepted the Indigenous space uh, as a base layer for its planning. Stage one and Greater Curtain is about a place for many people and we want everyone to understand the beauty and importance of the living stream and the contribution that Noongar culture makes to this place, Curtin University. Noel shared so much knowledge and history with us and we'll be hearing more from him later in the program. Earlier in the program we showed you our fashion design students hard at work facing up to the creative challenges of a revolutionary new stretch material. Well, shortly afterwards, the sewing machines were cranked up one last time before the designs hit the catwalk in Fremantle. So we welcome now to the stage the Curtin University School of Design and Art. Truly talented designers are coming out of our school and they should all be very proud of their work. 
that's it for this episode of Inside Curtain. If you'd like to find out more about anything you've seen, you can visit the Learning for Tomorrow website at curtain.edu.au. Thanks for your company and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.